myself. Is this on? The only thing I saw was a bunch of wannabe thugs that run away from a real fight. Hey, you watch your mouth, deadbeat. Hey, you watch your toe, son. Hey, everyone. Welcome to another episode of What's Wrong with Wrestling. I'm Andrew Bazzano, along with my brother Joe Bazzano and Eric Slamilton Hamilton. You know, I'm a little pissed off this week. Uh, <laughs> so, do you not, you know, is this not important enough for you to what? rent an entire empty football stadium? Oh, so we right. can just I'm set sorry. the desk up in the middle of it. Yeah, I know. And just talk. Yeah, you're right. We should have done that. Yeah, we could have arrived in. What the fuck was that? Could I arrived in seven SUVs. I want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Joe, want, that would be Joe. Yeah. For the record, right? <laughs> for the record, I want to say that was the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen them do. Oh my wow. god! It was meant to be funny, right? Mm. Like a joke. Like this is a fucking joke. It was so ridiculous. What is Triple H thinking? What with the this? fuck was this? Who produced this? Hey, whose idea was this? Hey, let's be face to face in an empty. Yeah. Stadium. Yeah. Get out of my Co- way. College I'm sorry. Stadium. Just turn around. There's <laughs> nobody. It's not a wrestling ring. Out. It's not a wrestling ring. This was so stupid. I hate it. Yes. At oh least we had uh, I mean, we couldn't get U of H Stadium. They <sighs> No. They're they're busy or something. No. Yeah. They're not. We can't just set sorry, up. Sorry, Eric. You know? I, I dropped the ball on this one. I'll make it up to you. Okay. I'll have you and Joe be Godzilla and King Kong, and you guys will walk towards each other, and then the whole world will explode. Cool. How about that? Does that work? That's Love fine. it. Can we do that instead? That'll Love work. it. All right, That'll we'll, work. Get, we'll get that done. That'll Hell work. yes. Holy shit. Wow. There wow, was, wow, wow. There really wasn't much. It, it, it's almost like we're back to the Vince McMahon era of where it's just all bad. Yeah, because that right. was most of SmackDown and Raw this week. It was mostly right. Like it, it, it was, it was. This is such good. Shit. That's what I it know, was. I so, know. is this because the Vince doc is coming out? Maybe. I mean, like to, as you're listening to this or watching this, the Vince right. doc is out. Oh, came out yes. early Wednesday morning. Oh, I came early <laughs> Wednesday morning. Then <laughs> they need a focus group with fans, yeah, and real fans to go. This monster shit. They said. More specifically, this fan, right? They said. Yeah. There's no way Braun can suplex Bronson Reed. No. He's over 300 pounds. <laughs> they did that spot twice. He did it with the big show. With bigger men. Yes. He flipped a fucking ambulance. He, he flipped, suplexed an ambulance. <laughs> he flipped uh, a, a fucking uh, semi truck. A semi truck. Yeah. And he suplexed the Big Show legit 500 pounds. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. So why wouldn't this little, little Bronson Reed? Little Bronson Reed. <laughs> Big boy Bronson Reed. What do they do? What are they do? Why do they think we can't see how tall he is? Right. Imagine. He probably has four-inch lifts in his boots. Because <laughs> why Maybe. wouldn't they? You know, yeah. unfortunately, all I could think about was like a Hogan reference. Yeah, because like you know, what have they been saying? Oh, WWE so hot right now. WWE so hot right now. I finished watching Raw, and I'm like, ah, oh, it's not hot. <laughs> <laughs> this show is not hot. Oh God. I, yeah. It 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 took a step back, and I don't understand why when they've been writing good things. Like you know what you know what I you know what I would do in their situation. Hey guys, show's not going well. We're kind of like teasing a couple things. Let's just do it. Yeah. Just have fucking Woods punch Kofi in the fucking mouth. Right. Just do it. Because at least we have something interesting on the show. Like, what why are you is waiting everything for? so drawn out? Oh, well, they're, my they're waiting God. for the 10 year anniversary. Oh. I mean, there is. When is that? Uh, November, I think. February? <laughs> no, November. <laughs> the I mean, the other, the other thing is if you do everything too quick, then, you know, you don't. Then you have to think of something else, and you know I'm I'm yeah. not, I'm fine with stories going a little long, you know, but sometimes they do go too long. Right, but I mean that's the thing you can stretch out a story, but you don't like you don't have to have the new day fight every week. If I right. just read you headlines before you watched it, like Karrion Cross confronts the mid, uh, yeah, uh, like there's just random things. Xavier Woods challenges Rey Mysterio. Uh, 
Right. Like, none of this stuff makes any fucking right. sense. They post this like like maybe like two or three oh, hours before the show. By, on by the way, Andrew, here you go. Take it back. The bet's not over. No, it's it not. is a best of seven. I feel like just like we thought. Right. What the fuck? Yeah. Because we want to see that. Because that's awesome. What are they doing? It's so frustrating watching westling right now. I mean, you know, Raw's three hours, so what are you gonna do? What are you Anything? Gonna do? It's too long. Shorten it? When is it shortened? Next next month? Yeah, well, oh. we'll talk about that later because Oh no. <laughs> they already it might it not back? last, yeah. Oh, oh no. no. We'll see. Um yeah. No, you know, not I think like the this. difference between when we started this podcast was a lot of fans didn't like the product, but I feel like now we are in the minority. Like us and our fans, sure. We're in the minority because you watch Raw, you watch SmackDown, and for the most part they are popping. At least for the big stars, you know, sure. like Dragon Lee comes out and, you know, it's like... I was cricket. But he for the big stars. like a WrestleMania entrance. And yeah. I mean, I'm even like, they said his name, but I was kind of watching it low, doing some work. I was like, who is this? Did the LWO sign Chris Jericho? Like, that's how big this fucking right. moment was. Yeah. And it's just like, no, it's just dra Dragon Lee? Yeah. Has he ever beaten anyone? Popular or good, but like to your point, Andrew, I got like I feel like a lot of those people who are loving this right now, they weren't there for the absolute dog shit that we watch. Eric, I think Maybe they not. were, but to my point, I don't. I think again, people in person are excited to be there, but like the ratings aren't up. They're not getting fives and sixes like they used to. That, well, that's, that's a good point. I mean, they haven't gotten that in a long time. But no, it's all about profitability. That's all they care about. God. Yeah. Then these are like house shows that just happen to be. Yeah, on but TV. their attendances are always huge. Yeah. Like the TV ratings are what they are. They're not going to change. Maybe, I don't think. But maybe like, it's just like a. Oh, uh, you got to be. The, you got to go to one. Attendance. They're every show is like sold out pretty much now. I don't. Yeah. I wonder. Like again, what is their rating right now? Like a two point something three. Well, now that they're now that SmackDown's on USA, uh, they're both under two million. Under two million. Yeah. Like you would think that there's more TVs watching wrestling every week. Do they count people that go back and watch it? Do they count like all the I know like Nielsen is more about we're gonna take this tiny little group mm -hmm. and then the, you know, times it sure. by one thousand right. to figure out you know what I mean? But I think they also play into their YouTube numbers. I feel like they're that groups in Montana that don't watch wrestling or something. Right. Yeah. Well, no, not like the pockets of on their YouTube channel. I mean, every segment is posted. Well, as that's its yeah, that's own video. That's separate. Yeah, that's yeah. a separate thing. But like, that's I why think, they're like, we have ten billion views on YouTube. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, because it's something to oh look what we did. You know. Right. And I mean, I I would imagine they get ad revenue. Oh, of course. I just think so, they're making too yeah. much money to to not have more viewers. You know what I mean? I just, I don't know. Hey, you know, people were saying, make the podcast angry again. And uh, I guess uh, we did it. Oh, my yeah. God. We didn't even mean to do this. The show right. did it to us. We, we don't do anything. anything. This is supposed to be a comedy podcast. We're, we got to make fun of this shit. Yeah. Yeah. You well, know? this week we can for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's going to be. We have, a new, yeah. we have a new Wyatt Six forming, apparently. Like another new mysterious person or group. Mm, you, yeah, have we'll any, that. you have any news on that? Uh, well, I some. think it's pretty obvious. But oh. instead of just, you know, we got to, you know, we got to take it one step yeah, at a time. Come on, Joe. We'll get there. We can't just talk about we'll everything there. right now. Come on. Hogwash changed to a different format. Let's just fucking bullet point this bullshit. <laughs> All right. Joe wants to get out of here. All it's right. not about time. Right, that's, that's the show. <laughs> All right. Go. Get into it. Thank you. Uh, so first, we have to uh, thank some new patrons. Uh, we got to thank Drew, Jacoby, and Black Rain 4. Black Rain 1 through 3 were already taken. Yes. Yep. Yes, that's unfortunate. But uh, yeah, thank you so much. Go to patreon.com slash what's wrong with wrestling. We got over 700 bonus podcasts. You get the weekly Monday Night War podcast. You get all the pay-per-view recaps. We got Hell in a Cell coming up next weekend. Hell in a Cell. Uh, fucking bad blood. It's a Hell in a Cell match. <laughs> yeah yeah and uh you get all the brackets we got worst promo brackets parts uh one two and three a lot oh, of drafts mm. yes that's right and hottest, we have over snail bracket we currently have over <laughs> nine that's right yeah oh my god we currently have over 900 patrons and once we get to a thousand 
I'm shaving my head and I'm doing Stone Cold and for an his, entire podcast. And his right. balls. Well, I do that anyway. Mm. Patreon.com slash What's Wrong With Wrestling. I almost feel like you should hold off your Stone Cold. Make the people really want it. What? Yeah, exactly. What? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. lost it. I can't. Oh, Ew. no. I can't do it anymore. Ew. If, what? Oh, maybe no. Maybe if we get to a thousand, he'll find it again. What? What? Piss him off. What? Piss him off. Oh, I'm help, to him off. help Andrew find his Stone Cold. Yeah, help me, please. I need help. Yeah, I'm not just say I'm not giving it to Joe. I'm not gonna go for the cheap pop. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid piece of trash. No, yeah. God. see, you like you don't like this, right? Please no. stop. So sign up. We only need a few more. Please I mean, stop. You are right. the man. What a great <laughs> gift for a friend. <laughs> exactly. Patreon.com slash what's wrong with wrestling. And thank you to Tom Payton. Because he bought uh, a T-shirt at ProWrestlingTees.com slash What's Wrong With Wrestling. Hell yeah. He got the logo of the podcast. So thank you, Tom. It's a good logo. Appreciate that. Mm. I think so. Uh, yeah. All right. So SmackDown opens with the Bloodline arriving backstage. This and was so... It just starts dumb. Right. It just starts dumb. Mm, right. Yeah. Hey, Eric, have you beaten up security guards at the airport? Just beating the fuck out of them? Uh, a and couple not times. to jail? Oh, and not gone to jail? <laughs> no. Wrestling law is so stupid. These are uh, WWE employees, as, so it's okay. Because, is it? Yeah. yeah. Right. Of okay. course. Hey, Joe, have you worked at a company and assaulted another employee every week I'm there? No. And, and, and do you continue your employment there? It's just, what? what? Huh? He's I doing mean, his fucking job. Yeah. Let's not act like this wasn't going on in the Attitude Era. I'm, I'm, Even but, more often. Come on. It's well, I just guys. felt like there was reasons for stuff in the Attitude Era. Devontae Adams assaulted a cameraman a couple years ago and nothing happened. Okay, to be when fair. When you're a star, you get away with this shit. To be fair, <laughs> when shit like this would happen in the Attitude Era, mm -hmm. there was at least two more, well, I'll say an hour and 55 minutes of great shit to follow. Right. Sure. sure. You know, this had an hour and 55 minutes of... Also, since when did wrestlers Womp. have to go through metal detectors when they arrive at the arena? Well, you know, all the gun <laughs> violence yeah. in WWE lately. Yeah. Uh, so, I, guess, I guess WWE management saw that clip from New Japan where the guy pulls a gun out on another wrestler. Mm -hmm. and that's how he wins his match. And yeah. what are they carrying that they're failing it constantly? Well. Beep, beep, beep. well was uh, his, uh, what's in your pants, buddy? Metal cock. It was, metal his, cock. It was his metal mouth, no? <laughs> Oh, maybe. maybe. Could have been. Yeah. So Jacob Fatu gets patted down by security, so in return, he murders them. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally what happened. Right. That's what I want to do to the TSA agents at the airport this past weekend. But uh, you I don't. Got, I got cock-checked. Yeah. Ooh. Going and coming. Yeah. Dick and then they check. were coming. Ooh. Because they cock-checked They're like, me. hey, is that a Nathan's Frank? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, did you literally, declare this meat? <laughs> I go in the machine. I go in the machine. I come out, and they go... Yeah, look, we got, we found something there, and it's just like a red dot where my cock is. <laughs> it really is. It really is. And Joey, I'm just, and I'm like, that same thing happened to Joey. That's my cock. That's that's a cock. And they're like, well, we have to, we have to cock check you anyway. So here we go, and and it's just like, I was like, wow, that's the price of having a huge cock. And they're they're in a staring contest with it, <laughs> just <laughs> just waiting for it to move. <laughs> All right, who's gonna blink first? Yeah. Sorry, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> It, it, it looks great. How much is that job? You just feel cocks all day long. <laughs> you know? I think that's called a porn star. <laughs> well. Uh, so, all right. Next up, we have Andrade versus LA Knight for the United States Championship. Knight yeah. went for the BFT right away, but Smart. Andrade avoided it. Knight whipped Andrade into the corner, and Andrade mm. did his father-in-law's spot, oh. where he flips over the turnbuckle and lands on the apron. Hey. Nice. So I'm sure, uh, you know... Father's in law. Rick was proud. Woo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then Andrade hit a moonsault off the top rope to Knight on the floor. Andrade went for double knees, but Knight moved and hit a DDT. Later, Andrade hit the double moonsault. Uh, Knight went for the BFT, but Andrade countered and almost won with a roll up. He also almost run uh, won with the back elbow, but Knight kicked out. But in the end, Andrade went for a drop kick off the top rope, but Knight moved and hit the BFT for the one, two, three. Right. This this was a good match. And yeah. I'm glad there was no interference. Right. You know, just let them do their thing. 
Two faces, yeah. You're not going to get much, but yeah. I can see Carmelo running in. just For sure, pissed. 100%. Right. After the night, or uh, after, yeah. After the match, Knight offered Andrade a fist bump, <clears throat> but Andrade grabbed Knight's hand uh, to force him to shake his. It was kind of awkward. Weird. Sure. Shake my fucking hand. And then backstage, Carmelo Hayes talks shits uh, to Andrade, so they end up brawling before being split up by officials. Yeah. So we're running it back. Match number six this Friday. Mm. And Joe already gave me the dollar back. So. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, there'll be a seven. Yeah. And what's the... You have Andrade or Ty, and I have Carmelo Hayes? I'm yeah. not feeling good about no, it No, you anymore. shouldn't. No. No, because... <laughs> Carmelo's losing <laughs> yeah. right now. Right. You know they're tying. I really still 100%. feel good. Anytime they do a best of seven, yeah. there's always a tie, and then right. they'll become a tag team or something. So they're going to be the bar part two? Yeah. Yep. Well, wow. maybe not them, but they could use a tag team. They have all the same tag teams right now. No, I know. Well, well, you know, I'll get into that. All right, so Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. Yeah. Face-to-face in a wannabe movie scene. I feel like they were like, right. hey, let's do Heat. You know, like with Robert De Niro and Al Pacino, and, and then they were, someone should was like, uh, "We have one problem, though. What's that? We don't have Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. Who <laughs> are? <laughs> and also, this is wrestling, right. not a movie. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like you go meet in the ring if you want to have a yeah. stare down. Right. Like they even had like Michael Bay screen flares and shit. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Oh, God. It so they met mess. on the football fields of Georgia Tech University, where Roman Reigns played in college, and it's also Cody's hometown. Oh. Roman pulls up in seven SUVs. Like, is he a, is he a politician? Yes. Is he the president of a country? Right. Is he being protected? Like, oh, in case someone tries to assassinate him, they don't know which of the SUVs he's in. Yes. And, of course, he's in the middle one. Yeah. And he doesn't have a bloodline. No. So who's no. in these cars? Security. Just Roman Reigns uh, impersonate or, you know, lookalikes. I guess. Yes. Like Saddam yeah. Hussein or some shit. They're right. going to kill me. What? They're out to kill me. Uh, chill out, Roman. I don't think that's possible. They yeah. show like Solo on the roof with a sniper. He's like, fuck. I don't know which one he's in. <laughs> Shoot them all. Right. So Cody shows up in a sports car because he's so cool. So cool. And it's a white sports car because he's white. <laughs> Because <laughs> he's fucking white bread. That's what he is. Yeah. And they meet at midfield. Yep. And Roman tells Cody, I shed blood, sweat, and tears on this field. So that means this is my field, which means this is my stadium, and this is my city. Is that how that works? Yeah. Oh. He okay. played football there. Yeah. Was all right. Okay. And now this is his whole city now. Wow. That's amazing. <clears throat> There's got to be a better college football player that played for Georgia Tech. Pro- In fact, maybe. I'm sure there is. 100%. And then I don't he even says, watch football. And then he says, what have you done for my city? Yeah. And Cody says, multiple generations of my family bled for this city. This is your field, but this is my home. This is like, really, it's like a a bad, like an even worse Fast and Furious it's script. Like, right. It's like, a, it's like a super fast. You know, the <laughs> movie that parodied all the Fast and Furiouses? That's what this no, is. No, it's like that one motorcycle one, Torque. <laughs> that's awesome imagine he came out right yeah. so roman says i don't have anything to lose anymore i'm a man without a country uh but you have everything to lose and cody Anti-American says American fuck yeah right jesus uh cody says i told you uh you'd be a chief without a tribe they took jimmy they took the wise man they took the ulafala <laughs> and uh you think you have nothing to lose we have a tribal chief and it's not you we have a WWE champion. It's not you. It's not you. Like, that's how he says it's it. It's not. Yeah. If you can't beat your own bloodline, who's standing here right now? It's the guy they used to call Roman Reigns. And then Roman says, just tell me what you want. And Cody says, I want your word that you will have my back so that I can have yours. And then Roman oh. says, you have my word. And now have my front. <laughs> Broke back wrestling. Yeah. I really thought that was coming up. But when it's all said and done, I'm taking back what's mine. And then Roman starts to walk away. Again, you're not in a wrestling ring. This is a football field. Correct. 100 yards. Yeah. He starts to walk away, but Cody steps in front of him, but they don't look at each other. So it's like this awkward photo, and it's going to be the thumbnail for the podcast. So Thank you. You could see it very... I've already made it. Uh, I'll show you after this, but... um, 
He steps in front of him and he says, uh, it's not yours to take. And then Roman says, you're in my way. And Cody steps back. A pussy. <laughs> and then the worst line in the history of the show. Yes. Roman says, you're in my way in life. Oh, sorry. I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, perfect. So did he shoot him? Like that's, you know, how do you get someone have. who's in he, their way? He, then he killed Cody, right? Oh god! I wish. Like he left him dead in the mid on the fifty yard line. Yeah. No. Oh. Adrenaline in my soul. This fucking shit is getting old. It really is. Thank you. I'm I done. feel like I'm if out. if they had Stone Cold and The Rock, this wouldn't be good. Yeah, right. Because just the setup for it all is just yeah. so not wrestling. Right. Like even like oh that- this is my field. You know what I mean? Right. Like, oh my my blood. Uh, I shed blood, sweat, and tears on this field. What have you done for my city, Rock? Read, read this one in Stone Cold. You're in my way. <laughs> in life. What? <laughs> I don't want your life. <laughs> it's fucking great. Oh, Lord. But, like, see, I feel like Stone Cold and the Rock would be smart enough to be like, I'm not doing this shit. <laughs> no, you know? this is stupid. Yeah. Do this in the ring and it might no, it wouldn't have been. Well, good. not that but line. It, Definitely yeah. not the last line. The no. last line was terrible, but like they've basically done this in the ring already. You know yeah, what I mean? I guess right. that's why they were like, oh, we gotta get creative we, here. We gotta do it somewhere else. Uh uh football field. Not all not all ideas are good. Right. <laughs> yeah. Professional wrestling. It's just like football. I mean what, get it? it's scripted. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm what, was there <laughs> not was there not scripted. a UFC octagon available? Right. They could have stepped in. Yeah, that would have sucked too. Come on. Yeah, I know. So yeah, this was dumb. Backstage, we see that Kevin Owens was. Well, oh, so first here, I'll show you uh, the thumbnail that I already made. Of course, because fans were saying like, "This is cinema." So it's just it's Roman and Cody like not really looking at each other. This is not cinema. Yeah. That's the title of this week's podcast. You would think they were fighting each other again with that picture. No, they're right? not. No, yeah, no, exactly. They're still this is how they're friends. setting up to be friends. Exactly. Hey, yes. Joe. BFFs. No, don't look at me. Look that way. <laughs> Sorry, was that you or me? Yeah. It's but, like, just fuck already. Both. You know what I mean? So backstage, we see that Kevin Owens was watching this whole thing, and he was like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Seriously. And Byron Saxon asks him for a comment, but he walks away. So we'll get back to that. He's like, what was this bullshit? He's yeah. speechless. All right, let's see if they can make up for it. Next up, we have Apollo Crews versus Giovanni Again. Vinci. Fuck. Oh, no. I swear to God. All they right. Got, they, if they do anything. Redemption time for <laughs> Vinci. They just can't do a roll-up. Go. Cruz wins with a roll-up. Okay. 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 <laughs> what? Uh, they made, like, why uh, run it back? Why? It's like telling the same joke two weeks in a row on but, the same show. Hold on. But Joe. Yeah. He's beat him with roll-ups. Has he really beaten him? Yes. That's right. That's, <laughs> that's, he has. Yeah, that's exactly it. how Twice. you beat someone. Like, so if Vinci wins with a pin next week, he wins the set. Yeah. <sighs> he wins the feud. He wins the everything. set. Yeah. Like, uh, Corey Graves tried to make a point, like, saying, oh, the ref screwed Vinci last week because he, he called for the bell when he wasn't ready. They should have had the same ref as last week, and Vinci just beats the shit out of him. Right, right. That would like, have been are you ready this, this time? Yeah, where are you going with this character? Who's Why do you losing build him to up? a jobber? He's never right. going to do anything. He's you yeah. Like you're losing to the king of all jobbers. Sure. Apollo Crews. So basically they're like arrogant rich Italian guys are shit. You couldn't give this to Corbin, at least he has a cool finisher. Yeah. <laughs> Let He's, him hit the end of days. You're worse than a want to be. You're a never was. Yeah. yeah. Imagine he turned end of days into a roll up. <laughs> and the roll-ups. <laughs> so backstage, Saxon asks Owens again for a comment. But KO says, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to do it out there. So Owens comes out to the ring, and he says, everybody wants to know how I feel about Cody Team and Roman. Uh, but then the bloodline minus Solo Sokoa walks out. And ladies and gentlemen, because Solo's not there to talk, we have Tama Tonga. You have it? Yeah, 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 Ah. Huh? 
Do you have more? No, but I can no. play it again. <laughs> What's crazy? I, and then he goes, it's got to be on the they, soundboard. And then they boo and he goes, ah. Yeah, I mean, it's got to really. be on the soundboard. Anytime someone says something nonsensical, you just play that. Yeah, right. Yeah. So Nia Jax cuts a promo and she's <laughs> like, <laughs> It's funny. I never knew nah. that he was on this old cartoon called The Wild Thornberries. Oh, yeah. That's what she said about me. Okay, hold on. Thought I'd time this better. Yeah. Okay. Ah. But then he goes on to butcher and slur his words. I guess he has Tourette's. That's his gimmick. There it is. I don't know. Like, I, this is such an AEW thing where it's like, hey, I got to do something to get over. It's not because it's not going to be with my wrestling ability. It's not going to be with my mic skills. So I'm just I'm just going to do something really stupid and hope it catches on like. Like every wrestler in AEW does. Yeah. They cut, you know, Daniel Garcia with the stupid dance. The fucking pelvic thrust to the yeah. face. <clears throat> Orange Cassidy, you know, with his bullshit. Like what? everyone in AEW just does something dumb to get over. Right. Action on Dread A, I remember him. He would like drink a water bottle really fast. Yeah. And it's like, oh, okay, good. Right. You're the, you're the goat throat. Like, I, what is that? The goat throat? Yeah. Throat goat. Throat goat, right? Yeah, <clears throat> the goat. Oh, that throat. that's mean. I think of the Falcon different. in uh, American uh, Captain America: Civil War. He's like everybody's got a gimmick now. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So, Ko says, "Why don't you just get up here so I can punch you in your stupid face?" The bloodline starts beating up Owens, but DIY run out and they make the save. Yeah. And then Nick Aldis comes out with security and makes a six man tag team match for the main event. Uh, okay, great. Yeah, great. And Michael Cole. Just like every week now, he says DYI. He did it again this week. He said DYI. Do yourself it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. DYI. Do you like to do yourself it? I depends on how the strike moods me. <laughs> <laughs> Perfection. Yeah. Next up we have Nia Jax and Tiffany Stratton versus Bailey what? and Naomi in a tornado what? tag no, team match. No, no, no. If Bailey and Naomi lose. Whoever takes the loss has to leave SmackDown forever. I bet my house on a double pin. Yeah. And it was weird. I only won a dollar. Yeah. That yeah. seems like a lot. Yeah. I had to put up my house to win a yeah. dollar. I think we said that, that this would happen of last course. week. Of Backstage course. Backstage before the match, Nia tells Stratton, if you lose tonight, maybe you should be the one that leaves SmackDown. Gives her a hard pat on the back. Oh, what a bitch. So Nia held up Bailey for a Samoan drop, but Stratton jumped off the top rope to give Bailey a neck breaker while Nia gave her a Samoan drop anyway. Okay. Yep. Then Bailey went for a back suplex on Stratton while Naomi hit Stratton with a springboard kick, but it was ugly. Uh, then Bailey went for the cover, but Naomi pulled Bailey off. Oh, that's hot. Then Nia gave uh, <laughs> right. Nia gave Bailey a leg drop off the second rope while Bailey gave Stratton an elbow drop off the second rope, and they both went for the pin, but both women kicked out. Uh, then Nia went for a power bomb, but Naomi countered with an X Factor. X Pac! He, he's going to live forever. And then Stratton went for a Swanton bomb, but Naomi moved and she landed on Nia. And then Bailey and Naomi gave Stratton a shitty looking 1D or 3D. I call it a shitty D. What about the shit D? Shit D. There you go. That's what it was. The shit D. Then Nia gave Bailey a Samoan drop. And Naomi and Bailey win the match. They double pin Nia for the <laughs> That's exactly win. Exactly right. I don't know how this she happened. She gave her a, a Samoa drop. And I, then, I, I watched it back five times. I still can't figure out what happened. How did Bailey get involved? That's not her pin. She's dead. If I was the commissioner, I'd be like, that's Naomi's win. You were dead. Yeah. You just happened yeah. to roll over. Right. And Backstage, butthole. all this tells Naomi and Bailey that next week they're going to go one-on-one -on -one to decide who faces Nia at Bad Blood. I thought Nia Double had Double count out. So they're going to do it again. <clears throat> they're going to do it again. Just shut it down now and have a triple threat match. Clearly, that's where this is going. Yeah. Don't have them wrestle to another fucking tie. Sure. That's oh, why this should only... Doesn't, doesn't Nia have to leave SmackDown? Yeah, she's gone. Just get to it. I wish she could just leave wrestling. Stop. Now, period. Sure. Drawn out. Or over and over. 
Vinci is, gets rolled up. Vinci gets rolled up. I bet he does it, Andrew, for a dollar. It happens again next week. Vinci gets rolled up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, why do they have to murder something if they... It, it would kind of be funny if Stratton, like, cashed in on, let's say, Rhea wins on that uh-huh. bad blood. Sure. She cashes in on Rhea. Because I got to leave some Oh, and then the whole story is Stratton and Nia with the belts. Good Lord. Fuck. Yeah. No, this is why there should only be one women's champion. Yeah. Because right now they don't have Becky. They don't have, uh, they don't have Charlotte. They don't have, you know what I mean? Yeah. And Bianca's doing the tag thing with uh, Jade Cargill. So you don't have a good second women's champion. Right. This is garbage. Mm. And they're talking about there's rumors that they're going to make a women's intercontinental championship. God help us. Yeah. Well. Jesus. It's okay. And then we go. I've got inaugural IC champ women's. Yeah. I've got Natalia. I'll give it's you Natalia. I'll give you anyone else. No, it's Natalia. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. She win some stupid tournament. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Uh, so we go from this right into a Chelsea Green porno? <laughs> yes. Uh, like she's a slutty construction worker. And then like some garbage gets dumped on her. Might as well be a cum shot. Yeah. Or like a scat video. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> a scat video. And then she uh, she scissors with a meat chin blow up doll. It's hot. Throws it in the dumpster. Mm. And then she gets bit by an imaginary raccoon. Yes. And then some guy walks up and offers her five hundred dollars to fuck her in a van. And she says, Okay. It was a white van, right? Yeah, it was a I white think I've van. Seen that video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a white fan. So it's Vagtastic a voyage, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's a dumpster match in two weeks, and Michael Cole can't wait. I can't wait to see Chelsea Green picked up, taking like this, and thrown right into a dumpster. Chelsea Green, you get thrown into a dumpster. Shut up, Michael. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Stupid One day he's going to have a fucking shit. aneurysm. You piece of doing fucking that shit. shit. We yeah. gave this guy the benefit of the doubt. We were like, Did oh, we? he's just. <laughs> he, you know, it's because of Vince that he acts like this fucking idiot. And he's, it's like he's even more stupid than ever. It's like he doesn't know what to do without Vince. It's like he's been trained for 25 years to be Vince. Right. He's like and a he guy that's do never it. watched the show before every week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's like so shocked by stupid shit. <laughs> so next up, we have KO versus D. I Y yes, you dumb fuck versus the bloodline. Except the bloodline beats up DIY backstage, and then they come out and attack KO. But the Street Profits come out for the save, so we have KO and the Street Profits versus the bloodline. Why? I don't know. Fuck you. Why? That's why. <laughs> yeah. Who gives a shit? Sound, sounds fair. Nobody's Fatu, watching this uh, shit. Fatu hit Dawkins with his impressive moonsault. <laughs> then Owens does his version of the Choo Choo Train, and he clotheslines Tongaloa and Jacob Fatu, and then he hits them both with sentons, but not before telling them to suck it. Yeah. And then he gives Tama Tonga a suck it chop and a cannonball. Then he gives Tama a stunner, but Tonga Loa pulls Owens out of the ring and whips him into the steel steps. And the refs had enough. And he calls for the bell. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's it. Done. When is, what? Done. After the match, the bloodline beats up KO, Ford, and Dawkins. And then DIY comes back out to get their asses kicked some more. They yes. didn't get enough backstage. No. Uh, and then the bloodline was about to fuck up Owen some more, but Cody ran out with a steel chair. He throws uh, one of the, or he throws the chair in, into the face of one of the Tongans, hits the other guy with it, and then he hits Fatu with a Cody cutter to clear the ring. And then KO picks up the chair and thinks about smashing Cody in the back with it. Please. But then he drops it. Shakes Cody's hand and gives him a hug. Again. To end the show. Another tease, another nothing. Right. That's a nothing. Right. That counts as a nothing. It's a tease. They've been teasing it, though. It's so it much. Won't go, they won't go all in. No. They're going to do it. Mm. They're going to do it. When? Since Triple H has taken over, there hasn't really been, like, sup- like surprises. <laughs> like, Dom turning on Rhea. Like... As far as the show's concerned, that was a surprise. Sure. But everyone and their mother knew that that was happening. Right. Of course. So, like, and, and like, there's really nothing shocking, but also the story at least makes sense to where it's like, okay, well, at least that's, you know, that makes sense, right? Mm. Like, Woods is going to turn on Kofi. KO's going to turn on Cody. You know what I mean? 
Cross is doing whatever. Who knows with the Miz? I don't know, but not that that matters. But he's gonna fuck the Miz's wife. Maybe they're gonna swap. <laughs> a little wife, wife swap. swap. Yeah, <laughs> it's not bad. Not bad at all. I'd be so, fine yeah. with either side of that. <clears throat> That's the end of SmackDown. Mm. You know, the KO heel turn will come at some point. Well, here's the thing: if Cody is fighting with Roman at War Games, which we fucking hope not, right? We hope Cody's not in that War Games match. If he's not. Then I could see it, you know, KO turning on Cody, and then it's KO, it's heel KO versus Cody at War Games. But if Cody does fight Roman, then yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's got to be heel KO because I don't think you're gonna do heel KO versus Cody at the Rumble. You know, yeah. you still have to do the Randy Orton Cody match at some point, and I feel like that's a Rumble match, or right. maybe it's a Mania match. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what they do. Anyways, Raw opens with fans buying merch. One fan had an uh, Oh Hell Yeet sign. Get the fuck out. I will murder you. Oh Hell Yeet! What? Don't. Uh. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. And then they show Braun Breaker arriving mm. through the arena. They show Jey Uso arriving. They show Drew McIntyre walking up. And then we see Dominic Mysterio pulling up in a low rider with hydraulics, just like Eddie Guerrero. That was with fun. With Liv Morgan in the passenger seat. Giving roadhead. It was like, I mean, yeah. She didn't have to move. He just bounced the car. She's like, right. oh, 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 oh. just put your mouth there and I'll do the rest. <laughs> so they get out of the car. Joe's like, ah, I've been there. And they, they start walking in. <laughs> But <laughs> Braun Strowman and Bronson Reed come into frame and crash through a table right in front of them. Oh, boy. It's chaos to start Raw. Uh, so we have an in-ring promo from Liv and Dom. Liv's legs look amazing. Sure. She's so fucking hot. I know. Liv brags about beating up Rhea Ripley last week. <laughs> You're like, I know. Fuck. Fuck. God damn. Uh, she says, Daddy I Dom. I should have put her in the wife sack when I met her. Yeah, sure, right. Yeah. <laughs> get, in the bed, get in the sack. She says, Daddy Dom's the hottest man ever. So mommy comes out and she promises that she won't hurt them. She says she's fully cleared, even though she's still in a knee brace. <laughs> totally. I mean, I wrestled for 15 years in two knee braces. In three knee braces. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Where's then, the third one? You don't want to know. <laughs> Ripley tells Dom, since uh, you're the only reason Liv has kept the Women's World Championship, Adam Pierce has decided that during our match at Bad Blood, you will be hanging above the ring in a shark cage. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, these matches never go well. No. Even the Kevin Owens Jericho thing was fine. But oh, like, that one was great. Yeah. yeah that was a great but, match. It was. Because of look how you, who you had in it, right? That one was awesome. You know, yeah. Braun Pete Strowman Jericho. came out and caught, interfered. Jericho dropped the brass knuckles. Right. That one was great. Yeah. This this is not going to live up to this one for Don't sure. Be bad. And then Rhea says about what I said earlier. I take it back, and she headbutts Liv and then leaves. Yeah. You'd think she'd want way more revenge than that. A they headbutt? beat the fuck out of you last week. Yeah, for real. Yeah. But okay. Next up, we have Sami Zayn versus Ludwig Kaiser. Uh, Sammy jumped on the barricade to go for a moonsault, but Kaiser pushed Sammy off, and he landed hard on a rolling chair. That oh. was a great spot. Yeah. Looked very dangerous. Sure. Uh, Kaiser then ran around the ring and drop kicked Sammy into the steel steps. Like too many wrestlers have a run around the ring spot now. Kaiser, KO, Braun, and Braun Breaker. Yeah. Right. Also has a run around the ring spear. Right. It's a it's a good quick cardio boost. You know. Yeah. Uh, Kaiser pinned Sammy with his feet on the ropes, but the ref caught him. Sammy gave Kaiser an exploder suplex and went for the Haluva kick, but Kaiser hit an Inziguri. The Sammy kicked out. Kaiser went for his DDT, but Sammy countered with a German suplex and a Haluva kick for the win. Haluva kick. After the match, Gunther comes out and tells Sammy, You've been begging me for a title match, and I've seen enough. I think tonight is the right time to tell you right here, right now. No, 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 no. And yeah. then he just leaves. Yeah. Great. Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, we all know it's coming. That's a segment. Next yeah. week, he's finally going to say yes. Yeah. Sammy's going to do something to get him. Right. To agree. Even though, uh, you know, 
Is it really up to Gunther? I mean, Adam Pierce. Right. Are you yeah, around? Right, right. It you is alive? Official. Doing What's your job. Happening? Like this is the main title on the show. I know. Gunther's around every week. Like, why would he not defend it? I'm sure, sure that's what's gonna happen. Pierce is gonna be like, enough. Enough is enough. I'll enough give them one thing. Shit. They're they're putting up the mid card titles on the episodes. I'll give them that. Well, yeah, they did it both shows. So yeah, yeah. Next up, we have Carlito versus Shredder. Oh, by, that's right. Or Dragon Lee, I guess. Either yeah. way. And I love how now, like, and when I say love, I mean it's stupid, but they, <laughs> we watch Dragon Lee's entrance, yeah, and then they show Dragon Lee's WWE 2K entrance, and they did this on SmackDown, too, where it's like, look, here's the real entrance, and here's the video game entrance. Doesn't it look, actually looks very different. Doesn't look like right. the real one, thing at all. One looks real, and one looks like a video game. Like, what, what, what are you, what are you trying you to show at? us? Yeah. How bad the video games are? By the video games, you could watch the... Less superior entrance? Yeah, yes. For Dragon Lee. <laughs> right. Yeah, I got to check that out. I know how out. much you love Dragon Lee's entrance. So Judge and Jay attacked LWO outside the ring. Ray jumped off the barricade to sexually assault his son with taint to face. Ooh, nice. <laughs> and then Dragon Lee beats Carlito with, uh, he does this. He goes, <whistles> and then he beats him. Ta-da. Yeah. Was that a Ryback thing we used in? Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Drag Dragon Lee's Show promo. <laughs> <laughs> Meat hook clothesline. <laughs> Fuck shell shot. Dragon Lee's. What's what's Dragon Lee's finisher? Do you know the name? I, I won't hit the button. I promise. I, it's just I for this. I honestly do not. Hold know. on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh God. Hold on. I gotta look. Final it up. justice. <clears throat> no. What? It's, so, it's something stupid. That was Captain America's finisher in Marvel vs. Capcom. Really? This Final is, justice! This says Dragon Driver, but that doesn't sound right. That was not what they yelled out. All right, yeah. I'm just going to pretend it's Dragon Driver. <laughs> Dragon Lee's <laughs> like, here's what I'm going to do to Carlito. <laughs> Dragon Driver. <laughs> Perfect. And I'm so happy to be here on the SmackDowns. You're right. on Raw, you idiot. God damn it! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> and Carlito's like, I can't wait to give Dragon Lee the <laughs> the apple spit. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. Uh, he can't do it. <laughs> he can't do it. That's not cool. So backstage, uh, Sheamus cuts a promo hyping a rematch between himself and Pete Dunn. He's calling him Butch, and then he says, "Let's not make this an English and Irish thing, but let's make this an English and Irish thing." Ooh. Butch. And then later in the show, Pierce finds Dunn beating Sheamus with a cricket bat. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Oh, I'm totally done with yeah. this. Hey, oh. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Wow, oh, I haven't done that. One. Next up, we have The Miz versus Bronson Reed. You got to earn those, Joe. You do. <laughs> Backstage before the match, <laughs> Karrion Cross tells The Miz everyone is saying this is a bad idea, and it's a shame that no one's giving you any respect. Be The Miz that doesn't care about anyone in the back. Braun says this is a battle of monsters, but monsters come in all shapes and sizes. Miz says, yes, they do. And he walks away and then cross smiles and says, yes, they do. Oh. Yeah, giant and tiny. Uh -huh. yeah. They come in all shapes and sizes. So he's a monster, crosses, yeah. and he comes mm -hmm. in all shapes and sizes. Yeah, he sure does. Yeah. He's he sure probably does. taller than Bronson Reed, right? Probably. He's, he's taller than Bronson Reed. Definitely. Carrying cross. I mean, yeah. Of course. After who, the match, Braun jumps off the barricade to clothesline Reed during his entrance. So the match is, uh, you know, it doesn't happen. Uh -huh. And then Miz yells at Braun for ruining the match, but Reed hits them both with a suicide dive. And then security runs out, so Reed beats them up and gives two of them a tsunami. Oh, God. And then Braun double choke slams two guys. More security runs out, so they beat them up, and Braun and Lee, uh, Reed lay each other out with a double clothesline. And then security piles on top of Braun, but then he does the bra, and they all go flying. And then Braun tries to give Reed a superplex, but security pulls Braun down. Thank God, because the ring would have collapsed. When they were doing this and teasing this, I'd be like, how cool would that be? If, like, in the beginning of the show, yeah. they actually do that, and they break the ring. Right. And they're like, fuck, well... Well, the rest of the show, they're just going to have to wrestle in this broken ring. Yeah. Like, that would have been cool for one show. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a safety thing. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> They're stuntmen. Yeah. Yeah. 
So anyways, uh, then Braun gives Reed a shitty drop kick and he falls out of the ring. Braun power slams a few more security guards and he goes to the top rope, but Reed runs away. And, and Braun this, looks winded. Oh, of course. Security was still there, and I thought Braun was just going to be like, fuck it, and then just jump on the security guards. Sure. But I think his both his legs would have snapped. Killing three of them, yeah. including Braun. It would have been like that video, the backyard wrestling, where the guy jumps oh, yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> Double knees. His knees just go backwards. <laughs> like, like, literally... That man has never jumped in his life. No. Yeah. His legs just caved. So later in the show, Adam Pierce says Braun and oh, Reed will God. face each other next week in a last monster standing match. And they made a video to hype it, and it was glorious. Re Bronson Reed comes from the water like Godzilla. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Braun is, I guess, King Kong, and they're both knocking over buildings and walking towards each other. And then both of their faces turn into, into a monster face. And it's both like they're both Godzilla. Yes. Like both, it's like both their faces turn into the same Godzilla yeah. face. Yeah. Rah! Like oh my god. So this will Amazing. obviously end in double count out or double, you know, whatever. I think someone's got to finally win. I think they both die and then they become a tag team. <laughs> Just like <laughs> it's gonna happen. We're gonna and they bars. fight Andrade and Mello. Yeah. Oh, I got a dollar. Bronson Reed wins. Ooh. Hey, gotta take that action, Joe. <laughs> hey, Joe, look I at mean, come on. Joe, look at all those dollars you got. I think they're trying to push Bronson Reed. Yeah. Would well, you give the me, obvious pick? Would you give me Braun or a tie? Like the other thing? Sure, why not? Mm, what do you think, Eric? I take it. I think you just want to see me lose more yeah. money. <laughs> Who would you pick? <laughs> you know it's Bronson Reed. I mean, honestly, I want to go for the tie just because they have to be a tag team. Uh, you want to put have a dollar they, up? Have then? they ever started and finished a match? No. 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 This could be like where Braun gets the first one and then Bronson wins the next two. Oh, God. Did, you can't. Did, what? You're not going to have another match. It's Last Monster Step. What, what, what else can you do after this? Oh. Yeah, no. And <laughs> uh, No, that's not happening. I just think. I just this think is Bronson. all you could do. It's over after yeah. this. Yeah. This yeah. has to be it. Either they end the feud or they become a tag Of course, team. Bronson Reed is winning. Yeah. He has to win. He has to win. Hold, remind me real quick. Yeah. Because I'm starting to forget. Bronson Reed took out Seth, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm We haven't seen Seth since? No. Or did he come back for like one week and then he was gone again? No. Are you no. sure? Pretty sure. Okay, so Seth is still... Are you sure? He got tsunami to death. I Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. See, that's why Reed has to win because Seth has to fight Bronson Reed oh, at no. like war games or oh, something. Oh God! <clears throat> oh yeah. Jesus! <sighs> Is he coming back? Then Saturday night, man. No, he's not going to come back for Monday. No, no maybe Reed's got to win on Monday, and then Seth no. I'm will saying eventually... Seth will come back. You think that quick? Oh, well, well, I, I don't know. November. I mean, I guess he can... did a stunt at a football game this weekend. Yeah. But he's been fine. Well, yeah, you mean from the tsunamis? Right, like one of uh, someone threw him over the barricade. Pat McAfee was right there. Yeah. Everything it was kind of weird. And the security, guy, the security guard didn't know what the fuck was going on. But he wouldn't have on. done that if he was still on the uh, <laughs> injured list. Yeah. So, yeah, I think he's fine. We just take you, some what time do you mean, off. for real? What? Well, he already came back and had that match. Yeah. He already came back in. He lost at Mania. He was off for a little bit. He came back, had one match. Then he fought. He, got... he fought. Um, Drew. No, I know, he but fought Drew, since yeah. the tsunamis, I'm saying, I wonder how long he's going to be out for. Do you think he'll yeah. be back for Reed like right now, like after this next match? For by War Games, yeah, yeah. He fought Probably. Drew, and no, then wait. he refed for Drew. No, no, Pope? he refed. No, no, no. He fought for the world. He fought for the world title. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he fought Priest. He fought Priest. Priest for the world title, yeah. Yes. And then he refed the SummerSlam match. Yeah, and then he got murdered by Tsunami. Right. He got <laughs> by, by Tsunami. He got soaked to death. That's right. Soaked. Next Didn't up. Wrestle one more match after Mania? You're saying Mania was his last match? No. No. He no. fought Priest for the title. Yeah. Was it Money in, Money the, in bank? the Bank? Oh, oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, we got an in-ring promo from Drew McIntyre. He says, I'll be honest, I don't want to go back inside Hell in a Cell. I've been in that match more than once, and it's broke things in me that hasn't been fixed to this day. Mm. 
My wife begged me not to do this, but this match will happen at Bad Blood. Why not just their wives fight? Yeah, because that'll be good. Neither of them want to want them to do this match. No. Drew then looks in the camera to tell Punk, I promise I will make you bleed and feel more pain than you have ever felt. It's appropriate that you called yourself the devil because this has always been about good versus evil. You compare yourself to a god, but you're just a man. A man that I've broken before and a man that I will break permanently. Mm. At Hell in a Cell. At Hell in a Cell. Yeah. I said at Hell in a Cell. Oh, fuck. In Hell in a Cell. God damn it. <clears throat> In in hell in see we're inside still, hell still getting in used hell. to this inside the hell in a cell yes in yeah. the hell in a cell yeah I don't at know. bad blood right but really it's the hell in a cell pay per view right <laughs> sure yep still getting used to that next up we have damage control versus the unholy union and no th- this was another reason why like Raw wasn't great it was because all you had was like it was like a quick promo from Drew. You know, like yeah, three minutes, right. you know, that's it. Whatever. You can't have them fighting each other every week, but yeah, eh, it was quick. You can with Braun and Reed, apparently. Well, it's because they suck. It's There's yeah. nothing else. You, they can't cut promos on each other. That's so why. They might as well just kick each other's ass. Yeah. Next up, we have Damage Control versus the Unholy Union. Kyrie hit fire with an insane elbow from the top rope to the floor, and Kyrie landed hard, and then EO hit Dawn with the moonsault for the win. This match sucked. It did. Mm. Like Fire and Dawn just looked lost. Yeah, they were terrible. And when and she was getting pinned, pinned she recently. was doing this as she was getting pinned too with her hands. Maybe she got a stinger, just making sure she wasn't paralyzed. Oh God, not from that move. Never know. You get feeling back in your hand. Then we have a video teasing something. Mm-hmm. Fate is woven. Mm-hmm. Is that it? <laughs> oh, that was it. Okay, that's it. Fate is woven. The end. So who is and this? it's just like a circle with an R P F inside. R. Some fans think it's <laughs> Penta and Ray Phoenix. Uh-huh. Because oh. that would be P R F. Mm. But it's probably just the Viking Raiders, I'm gonna guess. Like oh, it was God. it looked very Viking Raidery. So, what is that? So in the runic Norse alphabet. No. You really did this, Eric? Yeah, yeah. that's fine. P yeah. is W. Okay. F F is A A War R R is R Oh R W A <laughs> Yes That's what it is It's R F P Well War Raiders R P F War Maybe they're coming back as War Raiders and oh, not so the they Viking bought Raiders? that from Marvel I doubt no. it Was it well, P F R No They were, were the, War the Machine letters? War Machine Then they were the War Raiders In N X T They were the War Raiders <laughs> Yeah. And then the Viking experience. They don't. Have you ever experienced Viking in your ass? <laughs> They're not big enough to have a cool comeback story. Well, it was like 10 seconds. Yeah. Mm. I mean, if their fate is coming woven. back as war raiders and they're actually going to like be dominant and destroy people. Sure. It was just the symbol, right? On that clip. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, <clears throat> the, I'm sure it's the, I'm sure it's the Viking raiders. That's, that's it. Right. Uh, look, this is how. What it if looks. they're the War Vikings? Where's, that's what it looked like. Yeah, it looks like the fucking Viking Raiders shield. Yeah, maybe they're maybe they'll be the War Vikings. Mm. <laughs> the War Vikings. The War Vikings. Yeah, who cares? Next up, we uh, go backstage where Xavier Woods apologizes to Kofi for snapping at him last week, but. Kofi gives Woods his old trombone back and a few boxes of bootios. He's like, "Hey, remember." Remember this? Remember Barry's? And Woods was like, oh, this was fine when we were winning, but we need to focus. And Kofi's like, yeah, you're right. How about you be in charge for now? So Woods agrees, and they seem to be good, but then American Maid walks up, and Chad Gable talks shit, but Kofi says, oh, look, it's Uncle Howdy, and Gable gets scared. Yeah. Uh, So then Woods challenges the Creeds to a tag match, and Gable says, uh, you'd be better off playing your video games, and Brutus, he yells, ha! So we played the audio last week where he does that. Oh, no. Like, that's his gimmick now. Again, just like the Tamatanga, in order to stand <laughs> out, just do something really stupid that yes. makes no sense. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's awful. Yeah. And then a random guy walks up with pancakes, but Woods doesn't see it, and Kofi's like, get, get out of here. <clears throat> like, that was kind of funny. Get those fucking pancakes out of here. Pancakes. Yeah. 
So we have the New Day versus American Maid. Mid-match, Woods uh, tags in Kofi, but the ref didn't see it because Gable distracted him. Kofi eventually gets in. He does the trust fall to the Creeds. Kofi hits Julius with Trouble in Paradise and then jumps onto Brutus outside the ring. Woods sets up for the limit break, but Gable hops on the apron, so Wood flips Gable in the ring and stomps on him. And then Julius knocks Kofi out of the ring, and the Creeds hit Woods with the Brutus ball mm. for the win. Yeah. That shitty move yeah. they're still Horrible. doing as heels. Horrible. Horrible. And then backstage, Rey Mysterio apologizes to Woods for the miscommunication last week. But Woods is like, fuck off. <laughs> basically. Yeah, basically. Yeah, fuck and off. Ray's like, I know you'll get through this. You're the new day. New days. <laughs> and <laughs> Nueva Diaz. Yes. Woods is like, yeah, well, your, your son's a fucking piece of shit. And Ray's yeah. like, what the fuck? I don't have time for this. I have Finn Balor to worry about. I have a match with him in seven days. <laughs> I can't talk to you for five more seconds. Do you know how old I am? <laughs> and then I have to sleep to for seven days. I only up. have so much time left on this earth. And then Wood says, oh, you have time for Balor because he's a former world champion. And then Wood, you know, Kofi's like, oh, calm down. Wood snaps. He's like, everyone thinks I'm beneath them because I haven't had a singles title. And then Ray tells Woods, hey, remember when they said I don't have time for this because I have a match with Finn Balor? Well, fuck it. I'm the GM. I'm going to cancel that match with Finn Balor, and now I want the match with you. It is official. Like, what? What is happening? Ba, 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 huh? <laughs> Was that the Spanish version? Yeah. <laughs> okay Ooh. next up we have a video promo from damien priest no fair enough uh next up we have <laughs> and that's all like he had what? to say god we just keep bouncing from like am i my bad brother's thing to oh bad my god. thing to bad Th- thing it was like 15 minutes of like video promos it was, yeah. it, was it was am i my brother's keeper you what? damn right I am. Uh, but Finn what? Balor, you're not my brother. Uh, so then who are you keeping? Uh, Rhea. Rhea uh, uh, is my brother. My then we have another Wyatt 6 QR code. Who cares? Right. Did you um, scan it? No. Neither did I. Then we have an, a video promo from Pure Fusion Energy. Joe, did you scan it? Uh, I was. This guy scanned it. And I was trying to see what it was. But I think it's like... Apparently, like it looks like they're gonna come after the bloodline, so I don't that know. makes no sense. That's not I guess they'll have to get drafted first. Yeah, yeah right. right. Well, you know, when you're mysterious. I mean, unless we we want to hit the wild card. No! six times. Then we have pure fusion energy. Shoot your shot. You know, shoot yeah. your dick. Whatever. Right. And then we have Jey Uso versus Braun Breaker for the IC title. Hmm. Sammy hypes up Jay before the match. Braun did his spot where he jumps from the apron to, to clothesline Jay over the announce table. Braun hits the Breaker Steiner. Braun speared Jay outside the ring and went for another inside the ring, but Jay countered with a spear of his own. Mm. And then Jay hit the Uso splash, but Braun kicked out. And there's only a few minutes left in this match. So you figure, like, that's it. This is where, you know, Braun kicks out of his finisher. Yeah. Now he's going to finish him. Uh, Braun went for another spear outside the ring, but Jay countered with a super kick. And then he speared Braun through the barricade. And then Jay hit another spear in the ring and kind then another of. Uso splash for the win. Jay Uso is the new Intercontinental Champion. And new? And ye. Do I, uh, who saw this coming? Nobody. No, I certainly didn't. So uh-huh. I like the surprise. Sure. Because it was like, holy shit, they actually let him take this title off of Braun Breaker! Right. Yeah. But then you just look at Jey Uso, and you're just like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> the so Braun. Yeet bolt. Like, if it was just, if he was just main event Jey Uso and never did the yeet, and he was just a baby face, and like, even though he's not that interesting, it's like, all right, it's Jey Uso, you know what I mean? Like, good for him. He won a singles title, fine. But, but no, it's like yeet, this yeet bullshit, it makes it Sir not yeet, cool. Yeets a lot. And Braun just won the fucking thing. Yeah. yeah, you think he'd be a dominant champion? How long do you think he holds it for? Uh, two weeks. 
Oh, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say over under 30 days, I'll take the under. Because there's no reason for Jay to have this when he's going to clearly be in the War Games match. Most likely, yeah. yeah. Right? I think yeah. Braun will beat him right back for it. So he can say, I had it. E. <laughs> I had it. Oh, you had it for a day, you loser. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, you're Johnny Gargano. I eat it on it. No. Oh. Right. No. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> so Jay celebrates in the crowd. A bunch of pyro goes off. That's the show. That's a show. You know, f- for the most part, obviously the fans there loved it. I'm sure most WWE fans loved it. Jay is super over. Right, right. I guess. He's just not my cup of tea with the yeet bullshit. Whatever. Yeah. So let's get to awards. All right. Who'd you have for worst dressed? Jay Uso. I had Jay Uso. Yeah. Really over Dragon Lee. It was Jay close. Uso. It was Dragon close. Lee. But Jay Uso's a champion now, and he he's dressed like that. Yeah. All right, fine. Sweep it. Best dressed. I had Rhea. Oh, I had Liv Morgan. I went Tiffy time. So you know they're all hot. Yeah. Liv's legs alone. Well, they look great. Yeah. Worst acting. I had the LWO. I look look. Tama Tonga aside. Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes was at his all time worst in that promo. Cody Rhodes. All-time you know what? Terrible. You know what? Terrible. I you felt know. bad for Tama Tonga. Yeah. Cody should be. He's the fucking champion. And you he know was what? Horrible. Sold. Sold. <laughs> Cody hey, Rhodes. Uh, hey, Eric. Time of death 9 12 p.m. September yeah. 24th, 2024. Oh, he's been dead for months. He's yeah. dead. Hey, remember when I got when I told you guys you'd be sick of Cody Rhodes as champion? Yeah. Anyways, I'd like to uh, uh, show my <laughs> my. Book. I think now would be a good time to plug my book. I have a book that's for sale. It's called "I'm Always Right" by Andrew Pisano. Yeah. You know, a humble guide to being infallible in every argument. Mm. Yeah. There's nothing interesting. How to read infallible in it. Nothing we can't <laughs> randomly uh, go to. This really right. There's it's nothing not, about comedy. There's nothing about. Come. Yeah, Remember, is... you're always right when you have Kurt Angle's come. That's so weird. <laughs> Can you sell this? Can you sell these? Uh, I don't know. Very motivational. Yeah. yeah right. The majestic power of analogies. Like, no, no, I'm not even gonna. No. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, not... that, and that, those words are too difficult. Yeah, that's a snooze fest right there. <laughs> <laughs> and Josh is like turning off the podcast as you read that. So. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. He's like, and because I don't understand those words, I'm going to take him as offensive. <laughs> <laughs> right, Kevin Hart. I'm going to take him as disrespect. Yeah, yeah. disrespect. Watch your mouth. Uh, best acting? Uh, Drew. 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 Drew was good. Kevin Owens is an honorable mention, though, because the way he reacted and just, you know, all that. You know, this always, sucks. Yeah. yeah. Worst comment? You're in my way. In life, I can't believe when Byron asked, they did that, no. and they were just like, yep, Joe, yep, that works. You're that's in my way Joe. in life. That's clearly it. In life, that's oh, clearly it. God. Okay, that's clearly it. But Cole, what, when he said, What a pest Byron is for doing his job, I was like, You're a fucking idiot. Okay, honorable mention, best Definitely. comment. All right, so I had this because we could possibly use it on the soundboard, we could yeah. replace a button. Uh, Testator said. Go ahead and yeet. No, we're not putting that on the soundboard. Fuck you. I don't ever <laughs> want to hear that again. I didn't hear. I didn't and notice then, that. And then now out, I want it. Then out comes Liv Morgan. Go ahead and yeet. I guess if yeeting is coming. Is yeeting coming? Is that yes. like a thing? Yes. For us is it, it is. For sure? For us it is. Just for us. Pat McAfee was if it was for him. It was. And now Michael Cole and Corey Graves are making the same. Oh, yeah. I just yeeted for the first time. Oh, you lasted a while too. <laughs> I mean, so they're all doing are, it now. How are they doing it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and yeet. So Christ. for best comment, I had, let me punch your stupid face, Kevin Owens. Okay. I had Drew, you call yourself the devil, which, you know, makes sense. This has always been about good versus evil. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Right. Right. He thinks he's a good guy. Oh, the go ahead and yeet. <laughs> Go ahead and yeet. All right. Yeet. Worst match. Uh, I had my phone locked. Damage control versus fire and dawn for me. Had to have been that. Yes. All right. Super slow mo. Tiff. Tiffy. Naya. Tiffy shitty time. Yes. Yeah. Best match. I had Knight versus Andrade. I'll go Jay versus um, Braun because, uh, you know, he won. Yeah, yeah I went Jay match. versus Braun. It was a good match. Yeah. Worst move. Uh, the last spear that Jay gave to Braun. Yeah. It was just like a shoulder. Like, well, he didn't because, even spear it. It's because. 
it was a counter to bronze spear and jay was just standing there like he was dead yeah, yeah. so so yeah it wasn't a great spear but that's right. why it was that i had the shit d shit d, mm, You'll be shit coined d earlier. Yeah. yeah i had the brutus ball i hate that move it fucking sucks yeah how does that hurt you how does that hurt you at all right i don't get it best move uh jacob fatu gave champa like a running knee backstage into like a little cart with wheels or whatever into a little little storage donny. container mm. a little donny and I, it, it looked brutal i had jay spear through the barricade okay yeah that's what i had worst moment cody roman georgia tech i just put georgia Tech. like that wins over reed and braun yeah like that's how bad that was right yeah like and reed and braun you can at least laugh at and be like it's so bad it's good cody roman is like i hate this I want to stop and that's watching. over Tomatonga yeah. speaking. Yeah. Get, 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 get. It's over that. Yeah. They beat. <laughs> right. Uh, best moment? I'll give it to Jay. Yeah, I'll go Jay. Jay also went in. They threw him a bone. It was kind of a fun surprise. Yeah, he finally got a singles title. Yeah. They gave main event Jay Uso the mid card title. I can't do the. I can't give it to Yeet, man. Uh, KO teasing the heel turn again. That's oh, funny. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's all for awards. So now it's time for breaking news. Break it. So on Monday, Vince McMahon released a statement mm -hmm. ahead of the Netflix documentary, which is out now as of Wednesday morning. And Vince said, I don't regret participating in this Netflix documentary. Yeah, get the puppet. Get it ready. Here we go. The producers had an opportunity to tell an objective story about my life and the incredible business I built. Uh, which were equally filled with excitement, drama, cum, and a fair amount of controversy and life lessons. Unfortunately, <laughs> based on an early partial cut I've seen of this doc, falls short and takes the predictable path of conflating the Mr. McMahon character with my true self. Cum man! Uh, Vince! The title and promos alone make that evident. Uh, I'm fucking myself now. A lot has been misrepresented or left out entirely in an effort to leave viewers intentionally confused. The producers use typical editing tricks with out of context footage and dated sound bites, etc., to distort the viewer's perception and support a deceptive narrative. In an attempt to further the misleading account, the producers use a lawsuit based on an affair I ended as evidence that I am in fact, Mr. McMahon. I hope the viewer will keep an open mind and remember there are two sides to every story and as for uh, as for that documentary is concerned, I'm gonna take a big shit on the producers. Thank you. I don't were you a producer. He said, Bill Simmons, I'm coming for your head. He to said, shit on it. I'm not like the character Mr. McMahon. You know yeah. why? Mr. McMahon would never shit on an intern's head. Yeah. <laughs> I would. He's I'm worse. nothing like him. Way worse. Way worse. Would Mr. McMahon force a female referee to blow him in his limo? Maybe. Sure. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. And then he would be like, I gotta go do something over there. He and then try get to... out and let the limo explode. He tried to coerce. Uh... Does he not know we know what happened? Does he not know all that stuff's out? His best bet is to go buy a fucking island and just live on there. He has yeah. one. How many billions does he have? Pull a Michael mean, Jackson. You mean? I had an island, but then my best friend committed suicide. <laughs> God damn it! And now my other friend Pete, and he's in jail. Jesus! Just go buy an island and yeah, fuck twenty-year-olds. Whatever. Just stay out of the limelight, bro. They'll, they'll Grant's, take a million to get shit on. I'm Janelle sure. Grant's attorney responded to the statement. Yeah, but then he doesn't pay them, Joe. That's the problem. Yeah, remember well, he doesn't pay. That's them. right. Janelle Grant's attorney responded to the statement claiming that Vince is just desperately trying to save his shredded reputation. Sure. And she wants to hold Vince, John Laurinaitis, and WWE Oof. accountable Yeah, to give Miss Grant her day in court. There are also reports that Vince tried to buy the documentary to stop it from airing. Mm. So, interesting. Not enough. Again, you didn't pay. <laughs> How much? How right. much did they sell it for? They wouldn't. 50 million? Uh, if they hadn't announced it yet, if only he knew about it. Right. Well, I mean, that's the thing. They've announced it. So, I mean, they, I, uh, I mean, they need I content on their fucking platform. This is going to be a big deal for Netflix. Yeah. You yeah. know, it comes out tomorrow. It's out now, as we're talking about. Well, as it, we're as talking. This, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. As this podcast, it's as airing. you're listening and watching it. Right. So yeah, we're probably going to cover that for a Patreon episode in October. Yeah. So look out for that. 
Also, Ric Flair announced that he and his wife, Wendy Barlow, are separating after six years of marriage. Flair previously announced that they split back in 2022. Wait, yeah. when? Uh, you know, back in... 2022! <laughs> but they, like they got back together. But here's the thing. This is great because we have an exclusive. I actually managed to book Ric Flair... Oh, uh, on the podcast to give a statement. So live via Skype or Zoom, whatever the fuck. Here's Ric Flair, everyone. Wow, here he is. Wendy and I enjoyed 13 great years. I was drunk and she was in every, every couple. We've experienced ups and downs and I was up all the time. I think it's important for everyone to know right now that we have decided to part ways respectfully and disrespectfully. <laughs> I'll never be able to thank her enough for standing by my side through my terrible health crisis in 2017, my drunkenness in 2016, <laughs> my fucking everyone in 2020. <laughs> She never left my side, and for that I will always be grateful. <laughs> we both are working on different projects at yeah. this current time. <laughs> He's working on three different women. <laughs> I'm uh, working uh, on making my dick hard all the time, and she's working on finding a better man. <laughs> it has become difficult with my schedule and her schedule to make it work. I wish her the best of luck with her projects. <laughs> and I know she supports my dick. <laughs> That's what it says. I just yeah. read it. Wow. Oh my God. Right. I heard she got so he's working I heard on she got all of Woo energy. Oh yeah. <laughs> and he was like, Suck it! That's <laughs> worth nothing! You in fact you owe Tony Khan ten million dollars. <laughs> I'm giving you this business. It's in debt like me. Oh, my God. You should have taken the woo wings. <laughs> you should have killed me when you had the chance, Wendy. I will bet you $100 she will pay him alimony. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. Yeah. No. Oh, oof. So maybe they'll get back together because he announced this two years ago and they got back together. Yeah. We'll see. I know. Any other news? Is it time, Eric? Is it time? You fucking mark! You fucking mark! All right. Re All right. Report. Yeah. <laughs> Chelsea Green took to Twitter. Oh, um, I thought this was funny. I mean, she um, should have. Her promo on um, the show this week was amazing. Hey, shut up. Garbage. So she tweeted, Dream Match. Sir Nicholas the Prickless versus P Head Pierce with special guest referee Princess Chaching Chelsea. What, what does that even mean? So she wants what? Nick Aldis and Adam Pierce to fight at WrestleMania Good. and her be the special guest ref? Cool. Yeah, <laughs> super. Also, Mercedes Monet taking shots at her former best friend. So she said they. WWE reached out to both Naomi and I on signing new contracts. Only difference is Naomi did while I didn't. I respect her decision, obviously, but I felt like a dagger was dragging down my back when she did re-sign. What an idiot. Because we both walked out simultaneously, but I guess the money spoke to her than having quality matches, but it is what it is. Everyone quality knows quality matches. Everyone knows Sasha chose AEW for the money. A like that's a given. A hundred percent. WWE her and AEW were fighting for her, and yeah. ultimately AEW offered more. Yeah. Please. What's her name mm -hmm. in AEW? Yeah, Monet. <laughs> Money Monet. Yes. Right. Also, you kind of like left together, but you separated the second you could instantly. Yeah. yeah. Like you went to Where's, New Japan. Did like you bring her with you? Was she your tag right. team did partner? Did you get her in AEW? No, she went to TNA on her own. I hate her. Like they like Sasha got more money than fucking Naomi did from yeah. WWE. You know what I mean? Right. Like that's yeah. such a stupid thing to say. It is. So 
Uh, uh, that's uh, that's rumors. Hey, WrestleMania tickets are going on sale in October. Oh boy, whose Mark report is this? Yeah, I mean, I thought oh. that'd be your lead story, Eric. Well, that's the one you end. You oh, end sorry. on the biggest. Sorry. You fucking Mark. Thank you. Report is still going. Yeah. Also, Lee Lee Ying Lee. <laughs> Makes her debut on TNA Impact Thursday. Who are you? Oh, that's Zia Lee. Oh, right. Can Sorry. Get... Who are you? <laughs> it's fair. Come it's on, fair. you don't remember Zia Lee? It's mm-hmm. fair. What is Becky waiting for? Yeah, Zia Lee. Yeah. yeah. Also, uh, there's, I didn't... More. there's more. Wow. There's more. Yeah, Interesting. I didn't know this. Eric um, has to work tomorrow, but that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Go, go ahead. ahead. I didn't know this, but yeah. at AEW Grand Slam, uh, Daniel Bryanson is going to be fighting Nigel McGuinness for the title. Really? <laughs> Nigel McGuinness hasn't wrestled in years and years. And his first match is a title match. Yeah, AEW stupid. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I guess when, it, when you're a commentator... Yeah, oh AW my god, so dumb. Right, it yeah, is. Like Wade back, Barrett's gonna have one match coming yes. up soon. He's gonna fight Gunther right. for the title. Right. Also, also, I thought I'd share this with Andrew. Uh, it's Britt Baker in the pink Power Ranger costume. Wow. So if you need me to send that to you later, so you can relive memories. Nice. Sure. Yeah, that so, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, look at that. Over that. Yeah. You even got the fucking. The, You're just zooming in on her crotch. The belt, the morpher <laughs> oh, belt. Is that a potty pushy that Looks you have like there? Looks like Cole yeeted on that. It's a little blurry. Wait, is that a standee that we could put in my bedroom? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> in my bedroom. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so... Is that like Major League? Every podcast we do, we can pull a patch on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, <laughs> WrestleMania tickets are going on sale. Oh, good. I've already Eric's, signed up for Eric's, pre-order and notifications. And I'm going to buy 10 of them, and we're I trying to go, Airbnb. Right? Vegas, we're trying to go? I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> I mean, you can do whatever the fuck you want. I, I know. I'm well, just we asking. haven't gone, all three of us. I'm not Eric. Together. I don't go to wrestling events without you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. All right, let's get to rumors. All right. Rumors! Vince McMahon gets kicked out for sex allegations? That happened! But then he returns and takes back the company? He did that! And then Vince sells the company but stays in power? Oh Jesus! Oh my god! And then Vince dyes his hair black and has a stupid mustache? Confirmed! We heard that, uh, you know, Raw is... Most likely, hopefully, cross your fingers, gonna be two hours when it goes to Netflix. Sure. Right? Yeah. Well, now there's a scary rumor out there that's scary. <laughs> Starting in January, SmackDown will be going to three hours. Because it's on USA. And it's their watch, most watched program. Yeah. yeah. I get it. So uh, that sucks. That's gonna cut into the Law and Order SVU marathons. So oh, no. I hope not. I hope yeah. that's wrong. Yeah. It's 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 being reported by not so reliable sources. Not that any of them are very reliable, but right. let's Ever. hope they're wrong. Ever. Let's, let's also, hope. Fightful says Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns versus Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu is being discussed as the main event of Bad Blood. <laughs> oh boy. Which I guess makes sense, but you're not gonna be able to follow the Hell in a Cell. Wait, wait who versus who? Cody and Roman, the tag match. That'll oh, be the, oh. that's gonna be the main event. It's of Bad gotta Blood. be. I know. It's oh. gotta be. Though. It's gotta be. No, yeah. I, no, I'm saying it, it will most likely be. Let me say it like, like what's go, what's going to happen to make that even interesting? I set up war games with Cody and Roman on the same team. Sorry. Well, yeah, sure, but yeah, something would need to happen. I don't know. That sucks. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah, I got a little rumor here. A little nice. rumor. Pizza. Zillow. Fat two. You know the, the other, 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 other white oops. dark meat. The one with the umaga tattoo on his chest. Oh. So apparently, all his GCW commitments have been canceled. Oh right. my God! What's his name? Titty Fat Two. What is yes. it? So Tilla. Tilla? The know rumor what to write is my, know that what to write. he's heading to NXT. AEW. Shut up, Drake. That's the rumors. That I mean, how many Samoans can Zilla. they bring? You know what I mean? How many right. members Tony's of the like, Bloodline? We're gonna have a Samoan. I'll pay anything for it. Yeah. 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 So yeah, that's all I got. All right, trivia time. Trivia time. Let's Joe. do a, yeah, we haven't done this in a while, four facts and a fib. Okay. You can have different answers. Sure. Number one, John Cena has a pinfall loss to Kevin Federline, who is, um, yeah, 
you know, Mr. Right. Britney Spears. Yeah. Number two, The Rock has a pinfall loss to the hurricane. Number three, Triple H has never beaten Shelton Benjamin. Number four, Dustin Rhodes has wrestled in five different decades. And number five, Jinder Mahal's single WWE Championship reign is longer than all four of Edge's combined. Which one is the lie? Mm. What's the third one again? Triple H has never beaten Shelton Benjamin. Work me through him, guys. The first match with Shelton Benjamin where Shelton did the close. Like, Shelton didn't win. No, he didn't. Was it a DQ, though? Like, could it have been just, like, a DQ? I don't know. Let me check. <laughs> what okay. about, some, what okay, about so the first ones? one? Federline has been Cena. Yes. Right. Hurricane has beaten The Rock. Correct. What's the fourth one? Fourth one is Dustin Rhodes has wrestled in five different decades. That's accurate. Uh, 80s, 80s, 90s, he wrestled 2000s, in the 80s. 2010s, 2020s. Are you sure he wrestled in the 80s? I mean, it could have been like 89. So it's either that or the Jinder Mahal thing. Jinder Mahal, I think the Jinder thing might be true. But he had it for like four months, I want to say. Maybe. Yeah, but he's talking about Edge's WWE title runs. All which, of them combined. Yeah, for which sure. were relatively I feel short. like I remember hearing something about that. Because, like, Edge had the World Heavyweight title more. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. I, wait, the fourth one again is what? Dustin Rhodes has wrestled Dustin in Rhodes. five different decades. I'm going to go with Triple H and Shelton Benjamin. Okay. Is that both of your answers? He's never beaten him. Um... Hold on. Wait, what's the fourth one again? Oh the my Dustin god. Rhodes. Dustin Rhodes. Um <laughs> Hey Joe, what's the fourth one? <laughs> okay, let's see here. Rock has a pinfall loss. Cena has a pinfall. Maybe it's like a Yeah, I feel like that's right. I'll say, I don't know. I guess I'll say the Triple H thing, but I feel like he has. Okay. Is that yours? You're both saying Triple H? Sure. Yeah. John Cena and The Rock, you guys knew about those. Mm -hmm. Jinder Mahal's single WWE championship reign is longer than all four of Edge's WWE championship reign. So it comes down to these two. Dustin Rhodes wrestled in the 80s. Triple H's only win against Shelton Benjamin was in a beat the clock challenge. Uh, every other time that they've ever fought, somehow Shelton has won. So but wait, how did he beat him? What's how does he win a beat the clock challenge? He won the match. Like, you know, like when there's matches where they have to two superstars to choose something, they both have like singles matches. Uh, you know what I mean? I so he had to hurry up and beat him. So it wasn't against Shelton Benjamin. Yeah. It was against Shelton. Like his match in the Beat the Clock Challenge was against Shelton Benjamin. So he, he beat has so he's, beaten Shelton so he's, Benjamin. Oh, right. So he's beaten him. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. So you guys are right. You guys are right. <laughs> yeah. Good hey, job. we did it. Yeah. Good job. Nice job. Uh, all right. Let's do some fan questions. Everyone loves fan questions. Everyone loves giving numbers. Mr. Pochi. <laughs> Thursday is my birthday. Can Stone Cold and Ric Flair wish me a happy drunk birthday? Happy birthday! <laughs> Drink beer! <clears throat> was it Flair too? Yeah. Oh, sorry. No. Yeah. Flair, get back in here. What did it want? My pants were down. No. What did he want me to do? Happy birthday, random right. fan. That's enough. Wendy! <laughs> Shit. Uh, Adam, no wrestling question. I just want to bet Joe and Andrew a dollar that the Broncos beat the Jets this coming week. Done. J E T S suck 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 hashtag push Eric Who the fuck winky was that? face. Who the fuck was that? <laughs> Adam. Who's my least favorite fan of ours now? Yeah. Chill out. Broncos. I'm Raj. I'm in the process of creating and submitting a new bracket, but I think Joe will struggle. Greatest duck in size order. Ooh. There's 120 species, so I won't lie. It'll be a long podcast. <laughs> wow. <laughs> size order. I want to know what the biggest duck on that thing is. <laughs> Tell me now. Sugar Landis Duckus. <laughs> yes. B Sands, uh, potential Patreon idea, a weekly episodic wrestling show on the 2K games with Andrew the Don Pisano as the GM and with Joey the Pie Pisano and uh, Eric Pizza Hamilton on commentary. P.S. Nicknames come from my buddies and I. Nice. Oh, you're the pie. 
Sure. You're yeah. the pie guy. Pie guy. Rated R for life. Safe to say Joe now officially owns everything Andrew once possessed. Uh, considering I think Andrew gave him the extreme odds. Congratulations, Joe. I don't even know what that means. Oh, maybe he's the, thinking about the uh, Andrade. and. Mm. Well, that bet is still up in the air now. It's, it's back yeah. to up in the air. Uh, a little do- no, I think I tried to be like, oh, Braun Breaker's retaining. And then oh, it was like, maybe. of course, Braun Breaker's retaining. Mm. You know? Maybe. Lil Donnie's choo choo train. Uh, Triple H pulled a fast one on all of us. Man, this thing Raw is going to be two hours. But I heard a rumor that SmackDown will go to three hours. I hope it's bullshit. <sighs> it ain't a pleasure. It's yeah. bullshit. Uh, Tyrone Grizz, what the hell? Did Braun Breaker say something racist on Twitter or something? What a short reign for my dog. Yeah, it's weird. But we all figure he's winning it back soon. Yeah. Uh, Will my dick fit? Uh, could we turn on the Josh theme and have Joe explain the timeline of Shawn Michaels when he returned in 2002? Based off past episodes, he said he always has trouble lining it up. I really I have trouble with that. 2002 is the one that I can probably do because that's when he came back full time. Yeah. Where he came back, he feuded with Triple H, he won the world title at the Elimination Chamber. I could probably get through that one. Right. But it's when, it's before that. It's between like that time and like what, like 98, mm-hmm. when he would appear, be the commissioner, right, yeah. have a random match. Yeah, you'd you know, appear a few times. Super kick Triple H. It's like, yeah, it just was, it was just weird. Yep. Better call Paul E. Oh. Uh, do you guys have a favorite or most memorable moment outside the ring from the Attitude Era? Mine personally will always be Big Boss Man crashing Big Show's dad's funeral. I mean, I mean, funniest great. moment or best moment? Right, favorite. A favorite. Oh no, yeah. I've always said it. Stone Cold beating up Vince in the hospital. Yeah, right. Oh, it's for sure. It's, it's got to be it. It's Thank you for me or Nurse. Yep. Pop culture junkie, did you read Vince McMahon's statement? Uh, Would have been great if he ended his statement with "Don't forget." WWE Raw on Netflix this January. <laughs> That's tremendous. Yeah. Ethan, push fire, bury these Gen Z talents. Dominic Mysterio, Braun Breaker, Tiffany Stratton. Oh. Push, push. Braun. Yep. Bury Tiff. Fire yeah. Dom. It's pretty easy. I guess. Roman Reigns over the counter. What are Joe's thoughts on uh, Jose Altuve taking off his shoe and sock during the game? I didn't see that. He got thrown out. So the ball hit him when he swung mm. and hit it into his foot. Um, and the guy picked up the grounder, threw it at first. He goes, it, I fouled it off my foot. That's a foul ball. And I was like, no, you didn't. So he literally he took off his cleat and his sock and showed him his bloody toe. And oh, wow. they, they threw him out of the game. He's like, get the fuck out of here. Wow. wow. Yeah. So I didn't know Joe does umpire work. <laughs> Show me your feet. Get the fuck out of my Man foot. <laughs> fucking get out. Brock Landers. Unless you have pictures of your wife's feet. Show me right now. So Vince hasn't said anything in 18 months, despite horrific claims and lawsuits. But a day before the Bill Simmons docuseries comes out on Netflix, he finally speaks up. There must be some wild shit in there. Uh, I feel the need to say something about it. Uh, I don't know. That trailer is so, like, tame, it feels. I, I've listened I, I to, feel like they're giving like They're you showing a- him yell at Trish. They're showing him doing stuff. It's like, yeah, that was the character. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Do we? Is it? Is it? It's different episodes, right? Is what they're telling us? Because net or IMDb yeah. only shows one episode. Yeah, it's gonna be. So it's still kind of. I think it's like, like four or something. We we said it a few weeks ago. Yeah, it's multiple episodes. Yeah, I've watched um, on YouTube uh, Cornette's and Bischoff's kind of reaction to mm-hmm. this series coming out, and they're they're all very confused. Like, why would they do a hit piece or a whatever piece on McMahon when they're literally bringing over WWE? Right. So they're very curious. Right. They all think it's going to be tame. That's what I said from the yeah. beginning. So same thing. So we'll see. Let's hope it's wrong. I'd love the, just the worst. Just bring it. Yeah. Bring everything out. Be amazing. Captain Charisma, Xavier's got a turn on the 10-year anniversary of the New Day, right? Knowing how much WWE loves records, I can't see them pulling the trigger before that. I also hope they get Big E involved. Yeah, we were, we've talked about that. Like that. That's where they're definitely going to do it. Gary Pendleton, can you guys give Omar a shout out? He's new to the podcast and he's a fucking mark. Maybe a shout out. We'll finally get him to sign up for Patreon. Well, there's your shout out, Omar. Do it. Do it. Uh, Vince's mustache. Give me 22 stupid, stupid, stupid and Corbin yelling buttons for Uso ble- uh, beating Breaker clean. Yeah, we pushed that enough today, but yeah, uh, I sympathize with you, buddy. Yeah. Hey, Spidey, eat Uso losing the belt before war, uh, row game, uh, war Games? Uh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. 
Ryberg, go back. This is for Slamilton. A few days ago, I had a discussion with someone who claims Kurt Angle's best work was actually in TNA. I think someone's asked you this before. Yeah. Was he better in TNA? I mean, <clears throat> if you if you look at it, Kurt's TNA run was longer than his WWE run. You've right? said that before, yep. And that's when he was just, he, he was Perk Angle. He didn't give a fuck. He did whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like some of, he had some insane fucking matches. Right. Um, so I, it, it's a toss up. He did a lot of really cool shit in WWE, but he just kind of went off the handle in TNA. Mm -hmm. You know, I still so. prefer like him versus Shane that, you know what I mean? Sure. Him versus Not Shane, that I really watched Brock, TNA, but you know, yeah. yeah. Right. Joseph Reiling, how excited are we for the last monster standing match? Anybody? I just need this feud to be done. I need the Bronson Reed push to stop. Well, that'll yes. be when he gets curb stomped like five times. Yes. Yeah. And still be soaked. Uh, the Rizzler, rank your top five favorite stipulation matches. TLC, Hell in a Cell, Strat Match, Lumberjack, Ladder Match, Bloodline Rules, No Holds Barred. Yeah, I mean, Hell in a Cell is one of my favorites. Hell ladder Cell, matches are great. TLC, Ladder Match, I guess Extreme Rules. Yeah, sure. Lumberjack and then strap match. Reed is on Raw, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so is Jay. So that's who's taking off of Jay. If Braun doesn't take it right back, Reed's getting that strap. Ugh. Yeetle Juice and his avatar <laughs> is Jay Uso. No way. Wow. Beetlejuice. Jesus fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my God. Who are your guys' top three favorite wrestlers right now? Right now. CM Punk, Drew McIntyre, Kevin Owens. Boom. Done. Yeah. I mean, it's probably a sweep there. Captain NDA, I either need Braun to literally murder Jay next week or have a feud with Gunther. Yeah, it's not going to be the Gunther thing, but... I think they're going to bring Braun back as face. Hmm. Like he may, Yeah, I think what? he may go away for a bit. At, and uh, you could have Reed take the title off Jay, and then you could have Braun going against uh, Reed as a baby face. Yeah, mm. sure. Give him a baby face run. Already? Like, he just... Sure, who cares? Libel Chief, not sure you covered this on the Mark Report, but in the more shocking news of the past week, the brunette pretty shitty married a woman this past week. I'll give you guys a moment to pick your jaws up off the floor. A woman? Is that a woman? <laughs> yeah. I don't uh, know. Which one is that? The brunette? Is it Kit? It's Kit Wilson. Oh, it's Kit Wilson. Thank you. You fucking Mark! Thank you. Yeah. I don't think so. Are you ready for the Yeet era? No, 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 no. Yeah, we are not. Andy Piccone, after the main event of Bad Blood, the bloodline is beating the shit out of Roman and Cody. It looks over for them when all of a sudden you hear, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman, and I've been sitting at home for a couple of months wondering what man could help defeat the bloodline, but then it hit me. It won't take a man. It will take a beast. Dun, Brock comes dun, out, dun, cleans dun. house. Cody, Roman, and Brock stand tall with Heyman standing behind them. I know. Hit the button. You fucking mark! Yep. Yeah, that's too good to be true. Yeah. Donald Alexander, push fire Barry 69 with EO Sky, Dakota mm. Kai, Liv Morgan. Oh. Push Liv Morgan. Yeah. I would say Barry, Dakota, and fire EO. Just, just me, but push Liv, of course. Yeah. Push her. Sure. Nick Upley still making my way through 2017. Andrew said on the NXT pod, I don't know why they keep Roddy Strong around. Maybe his wife can cut a promo. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> no. If only I knew. New shirt idea, spear, splash, pin, yeet. That's not bad. <laughs> repeat. That sound, that, I mean, that's just like a WWE shirt. Spear, yeah. splash, yeah. yeet, repeat. But they're like, you can't copy an exact WWE replica. True, right. true, true, true. Yeah. Kimbo, do you think Dom's wife is sweating bullets or is he in an open marriage and his banjo string is hanging on by a thread? No, they just do Eskimo kisses now, so it's okay. They don't. They only made out the one time. It's all Eskimo kiss bullshit. Eskimo! Butterfly so it sucks. Kisses in the middle of the night. Yeah. So that's all for fan questions. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast. Follow the show on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Wrong Wrestling. Get a t-shirt or hat at ProWrestlingTees.com slash What's Wrong With Wrestling. Become a supporter of the show at Patreon.com slash What's Wrong With Wrestling. 
Give me a number. 69. No, we already did that one. Yeah. Oh, you have the book. Oh, sorry. All right, it's my turn to pick a number. Go. 133. That's what I was going to say. All right, here we go. Oh, God. Creative twists on traditional holiday recipes. Did we do this one? I don't think so. Uh, when it comes to the holiday meal, Not as we all have our beloved dishes, traditions, dictates that grandma's favorite stuffing is a must, and Patty's fruitcake should always be present, even if it's only to be the butt of jokes. And of course, the mashed potatoes. Oh, God. Take center stage. But here's the kicker <laughs> traditional can be so overrated. Let's embrace our culinary wild side and add a splash of Kurt Angle's cum <laughs> to those classic recipes. <laughs> What's wrong with wrestling? What's wrong with